brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. How can DOE make up for a $19 million slash in funds? Superintendent John Fernandez said if worse comes to worse, public schools might close. Now, President of the Guam Federation of Teachers, Sanjay Sharma, says he thinks it should be charter schools that shut their doors. Now, if there will be any school closures, I would prefer that we close up some of our charter schools as opposed to our public schools. When the legislature passed um, the laws for charter schools to offer charter schools, there's been no additional revenue source identified for that. So we can't afford new charter schools unless the government is willing to raise its taxes or to make the proper cuts to keep charter schools and public schools open. He says it's a, quote, luxury item DOE can afford. He estimates savings of $12 million if the two existing and two new charter schools close. We won't save all $12 million when we cut those charter schools, but we will be saving on their rent that they do pay. Now, that's a substantial amount, um, but to have four new um, schools in operation that weren't in operation a decade ago, we just don't have the funds for that. Chairwoman of the Charter School Council, Amanda Bloss, responds, quote, to be clear, the charter schools are a part of this cut. Approximately $690,000 has been taken away from both charter school budgets, and they are looking into other sources of funding. And she adds that, quote, should the charter schools close, at least 1,300 students will be displaced, forcing them to rejoin the island's public school system. Meantime, Professor Ron McNich, during a legislative public hearing for his appointment to the Guam Education Board, stating his opinion on charter schools in general. He says he is hopeful for more in-depth conversation about what charter schools ultimately mean for Guam. Reporting for Guamzi's Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Trilahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.